Winnie the Pooh? I don't know, I haven't seen that anime. Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about the two Winnie the Pooh games on the GameCube. Piglet's Big Game could have been good, but it isn't. While the game looks really good visually, the gameplay is tedious. You roam in five characters' dreams and solve their problems. The worlds are super creative and nice to look at, but the combat is annoying. Piglet can't fight. So when you encounter an enemy, you have to face him, press a button and get into a mini game where you have to press the buttons shown on screen. And there are multiple types of enemies, each with a different quirk. There are enemies that mirror the screen, enemies that destroy the buttons, enemies that make some buttons disappear. The combat isn't frustrating, but it feels tedious. Also tedious is the way you collect brave faces, aka what you use in combat. There are machines scattered around the levels, and you can't buy faces from every machine. No, there is only one unique face per machine. So you need to collect all the faces from all the machines scattered around the maps. And after finding a machine, you also have to pay for the face. And you do that by collecting cookies. And here is where the game gets even more tedious. You collect cookies by bashing stuff in the levels. Thus adding another layer in this collectathlon. Overall the game is super tedious. It has you roaming around many times without knowing exactly where you have to go or what exactly you have to do, kicking everything in a level because you don't know where the cookies are and fighting with a not so great fighting system. So while the game looks good, it's super tedious. Winnie the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventure is great, but only for little kids. For the purpose the game was designed, a lot of effort went into it, you can see that. The game looks gorgeous even today and the music and voice acting is also great. The gameplay is boring for anyone who's not a kid though since the game is filled with fetch quests. You start in an area, talk to a character, roam the map for said object, bash objects to find honeypots and it's annoying that you can't tell what object to hit to get the honeypots which makes you roam and bash all the objects in a level just like in the previous game. Then after you have all those, you search for the character that assigned the mission to you. I know it's a lot of back and forth but at least you can admire the great graphics and at least this game is more varied than the previous one. Because this time there are small sections where Pooh runs away from big guys, there are stealth sections with Tigger, and you also get sections where you play with Piglet, just like in the previous game. Overall, while the game is very basic and dull for old people, kids would enjoy the game for sure. It's charming, has great visuals, and above all, it's so easy to play that good times are assured.